What would you do with this scrap piece of wood and these rusty metal pieces? Would you put them together? Let's see what I can come up with. Hello, my crafty loving friends. Welcome to Purpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Today, we're going to take some trash and turn it into vintage rustic treasure. This piece of board is a pallet board from my rain catchment that I had for the longest time. And it finally fell apart last year, so we tore it all apart and burned up most of it. But we kept a few pieces that could be used for signs or to craft up in some way. So this is what I'm going to use it for today. So I have one of my grubby candles. I'll leave a link down in the description and in the comments pinned to the top for you to check out how I make my grubby mixture. You could also use just cinnamon and some Mod Podge. I like to go a little extra, so I add all kinds of stuff for texture and color in my grubby mix. Now I'm trying to figure out, I wanna put this on the board and I wanna use one of these metal pieces as a holder. And I think this piece here would be perfect. I think these metal pieces are from a one of those trunks that uh, you could uh, put on, take on like a train, like a train trunk. Somebody must have redone it. I found a metal trash can at the dump and I opened the top because I was going to grab the can, but it was full of nails and all kinds of metal things. And part of the metal things were these little decorative pieces off from a trunk. So I grabbed a few of them and thought that I could uh, do something with them. And when I went, when it opened the next day, I went back and grabbed the rest of them that I could find anyway. I'm gonna be just using these few today and see if I can come up with some really cool vintage wall decor. So I'm gonna use my E6000. I would use some uh, nails, but I don't think I have any short enough. And the wood is very dry. I'm afraid it might crack if I used it. So I'm using E6000 and some hot glue to attach these pieces. This seemed to work out really well. And if I have to go back and add some nails, I can do that later on once I buy some. So once I got that piece attached that I wanna hold my candle, I just grabbed some of my twine and decided to go around the bottom and the top with it I thought this added to the nice rustic look of this piece. So once I get that attached, I am going to start looking for another piece to put near the top above where my little can, my grubby candle will go. So I'm just trying it out and just adding the candle and seeing where I want the next piece to go. And I think I've chosen this one to put down. I, it's pretty easy bendable metal, so I was just e able to take my adjustable pliers and bend it a little bit to flatten those out so that where I glued it would attach to the wood really well and it would just lay fairly flat. So again, with my E6000 and some hot glue, added that to, and to the metal, and then I'm just going to stick it onto my board this really did hold up very well, so I'm going to just probably leave it the way it is. But I love how these rusty pieces look on this piece of pallet wood. I did take it outside and clean it up and sand it down a little bit, but I didn't want to sand it down too far and get rid of the really awesome gray look that it has. So I didn't sand it down all the way, but I made it smooth so that you wouldn't catch any splinters. So now I'm just going to take a little bit of my Spanish moss and tuck it into this little candle holder. It's got like a bubble on the front of it. So when it, um, when the candle goes in there, it moves around a little bit. So I just needed to uh, tuck it in there and make a nice little area for my candle to sit so that it wouldn't move around. I also thought that the Spanish moss looks makes things look very rustic, almost like it's been sitting around for a while and maybe a bird has come along and made a little nest in it and it's just sticking out of the cracks and crevices there. It's also a great, not only a great filler, but it also is great to hide little mistakes or 
uh, glue that you have that you may want to you may not want to show and things like that so I really love using Spanish moss and I use it a lot in my pieces so this gets changed out later on but I was just showing that I wanted to take a piece of material and put it around the top of my candle uh, this is just a piece of tea towel that I had stained coffee and tea stained but I Decided I didn't like it, and so I went with something else that you'll see in the end pictures. Uh, I wanted a handle on this, so I took some jute rope, and I unraveled the edge a little bit so it looked kind of frayed, and then I used my little staple gun, and I got uh, just nailed that into the side and made a little loop for a hanger or just to add some more another look to it. I've had a lot of questions about my little yellow uh, staple gun where I got it and my husband actually gave it to me and I think he said that he is just he got it at Home Depot or Lowe's or one of the hardware stores. If I can find the link I know I found it on Amazon before so I, if I can find the link I will link that down in the description for you if you're interested. So there, just nailed in those staples so that they would stay in nice and tight. And that's all I'm gonna do with this one. Now this is a bigger piece of pallet board that I'm also going to use some rusty things on that I've gotten at the dump. And this one is got a crack in it, but it's still structurally okay. And I cleaned it up and sanded it down just a little bit but not too much because, again, I like the patina of the wood, the color, the graying, uh, just the old look of it. So uh, we're going to try and keep that the best that we can. So now I have these crockery stamps from IOD. I will link those down in the description. I think I got these from jamierayvintage.com uh, or I got them at a local shop here that's connected to where my booth is. I go over there every once in a while and will pick up something for my crafting uh, supplies. And I saw these and I picked them up quite a while ago, but I don't use them a lot, a lot. But I wanted to use them on this board here and make it kind of look like maybe it was a shipping board, a box, you know, came from a box of a shipping container. And uh, so I wanted to just make it look like it had been stamped a few times. So I'm just using part of the stamp, not the whole thing, and just getting uh, some words and some decoration off from the stamp. So I am using paint because I do not have uh, ink, a stamp pad or anything like that. So I've had people say stuff about, you know, you don't use uh, paint, you use ink. Well, I use what I have and what I have is paint. I have lots of paint and I don't have any ink. Uh, I don't use it a lot, and so it dries up on me very fast when I do have it. So I just, I use what I have. So I'm using my paint and it works just fine. It washes right out of the stamp just fine. I made sure that I went over and did that as soon as I was done with it. So I think this added quite a, a nice touch to this board. Now I would have done this to the other board, but it was a little darker and I don't think you would have seen it as well. So I think this one pops out really nice. So I'm just, just stamping it here and there and it's okay if I don't get the whole design on it. It's kind of made to look like uh, it's, it's just a distressed piece and it's been banged around and worn down. So I found this grater at the dump, believe it or not. I could not believe that I pulled this out of the, of the a, a box that was gonna be going in the trash so I brought it home and I've had it sitting for a little while and I decided that I was gonna put it on this board. Once I found those rusty pieces, I knew I wanted to put them all together. So I glued the handle because it spun around and I wanted to make sure that I glued the back of it so that it would stick really well. And I had this string on there because I was thinking I may uh, attach it to one of the metal pieces above and make it look kind of like it was hanging but then I changed my mind and pulled it out I didn't like how it looked so 
that piece came out. So I used a little E6000 once I had it attached and went into a few of the spots that I could get to and added some more of that glue. This is where your Spanish moss comes in so that you can cover up any of that that is sticking out. So now I'm just looking for another piece or two to put onto this board to add some more of the rustic touch that I'm looking for. And I think I'm going to use this one up here. So I'm just going to add E6000 and some hot glue again and made sure that that would stick down really nicely. And I like how this piece looks on this board. Now I didn't get it on video, but I did take some of this jute twine and wrapped it around the top and the bottom again looking for that rustic touch I think that looked really good and then I also did the same thing as the other board I unraveled a little bit and just made the rope jute rope look a little bit frayed and I put it on I, just to use for a hanger I cut uh, some pieces and stapled it onto the sides Now here I'm using, again, some Spanish moss to add a little rustic touch to my little grater here and cover up some of the glue that I added to make sure that it would stay on the board. And so I just have it uh, coming out of the bottom, peeking out, and then I'll flip it around and put a little bit in the top, peeking out. I added a little bit of greenery just to see what it looked like, and I really like the look of it. So just using some hot glue and sticking that moss down in there and then I'll add my greenery back and this piece is done. Another trash to treasure for you, this little cutting board. It's a such a cute little cutting board, but this thing has been used and abused, and I love it. So um, I picked this up at a box at the dump, in a box at the dump, and uh, it has got cut marks on both sides. So somebody really used this a lot, and I think that's great. I love all the cut marks. So in order to make those pop out a little bit, I took some of my dark stain that I make. I use eight ounces of antique wax from Waverly, eight ounces of water, and then about, oh, a tablespoon of black paint. Waverly ink paint usually is what I use, but uh, you could use whatever you wanted to. I mix it up in a, I think this is a pickle jar or a relish jar, and anytime I'm ready to use it, it's there. I just give it a good shake, mix it up nice, and then I can use it on whatever I need to. So I love how the dark uh, parts went down into those cuts, cut marks, and I think it looks really, really good. So now I'm going to take a few of the last pieces, or one of the last pieces, I guess, that I have uh, that I got from the dump, and I'm gonna take the this and I gotta bend it so that it will lay kind of flat or the way that I want it to which it's fairly easily bendable. It's a little bit hard, but not too, too bad. And then I'm just gonna figure out how I want it. I wanna take my grubby tea light here and that I grubby myself. Again, the down in the description will be the link to how I do that. And I'm just, just getting this to fit on this board the right way, the way I want it, so it will hold this tea light on. Once I figure out how I want it, I'm gonna take my E6000 and some hot glue and add it to the back that's going to attach to the cutting board. Now I'm gonna use the same technique as I did with the last board and I'm going to add a little paint to the stamp just on certain parts and then I'm just going to partially stamp the board 
to make it look old and vintage and just like it's been around and had some stamps put on it from traveling around to different places. There's no real rhyme or reason with this. I just, uh, just pick a part of the stamp and I just go with it. It's just whatever your heart desires. You could do flowers, you could do uh, birds, you could do whatever you want, really. And you could decorate this up more than what I have done. I didn't do any Spanish moss on this one, just to change it up a little. <laughs> and uh, I mean, you could for sure. You could definitely add a lot more to it. After I do that, I'm going to use some jute twine and go around the top and the bottom to add that rustic touch. This video is part of a collaboration of some wonderful creative people that I have come to know uh, while I've been on YouTube. This is called What Would You Make? And it's just a, a great idea to come up with different ways of using pieces of wood, items made of wood, and recreating them into something that you would use just just being creative and uh, showing you how to just find wood pieces and remake them for your own. So join me in watching the What Would You Make playlist. It will be linked down below. I know you will enjoy it and you'll really get a lot of great creative ideas from these wonderful people. Thanks, Zaina at OK at Home DIY, Connie at Connie's Workshop and DIYs, and Krista's Crafty Life for being the hosts of What Would You Make this month, and thank you for letting me be on your playlist. Now let's check out how these three projects came out. Hope you enjoyed my DIY trash to treasures and you will enjoy the what would you make playlist that I'll have linked below I know I'm gonna go check it out right now don't forget to like share and subscribe if you haven't already and have a great day